Caspa fans, the time has finally come. Caspa is coming to North America as news was dropped that Kraken is looking to list Caspa, as you can see here, from the official Caspa handle. The North Americans rejoice. Thanks, Kraken FX, for cracking open the door for a peek at the incoming listing of Caspa. And this is what they're talking about, the listings roadmap. Now, this is what a lot of the uh, top exchanges are doing uh, in terms of uh, in the word for transparency, showing that, hey, just so uh, you guys know that no one at the exchange is going to try to front run anything. These are the coins that are on our radar that we're planning to list. If you take a look at the very, very bottom, there is a logo that you all have come to know and love. And that is none other than Caspa. Uh, prior to this, or even right now, before this listing even happens, there are zero North American, which includes Canada and the United States, exchanges that list that have Caspa available. So you're talking about a token that is in the top 25 that has had a massive rally, massive trading volume, which we'll go over all that in the video today, with no access in the largest economy in the world, and that is all about to change. Take a look at the current Caspa price, 16.86 cents, up around 8% over the last day. We can partly contribute some of this to the potential, uh, the news of the potential listing of Casper. I don't want to say potential listing. It, is, it will be a listing. It's just a matter of time. Uh, and then take a look here at the volume, right? And a lot of you people watching, a lot of you Casper uh, community members, you're looking at this volume number, $146 million in volume, and it doesn't have a North American exchange listing. We might have an answer to that. One of the answers potentially is, hey, these exchange listings, they cost a lot of money. You want to apply to be listed on a tier one exchange. You got to put in the paperwork. They, they got to do their due diligence. And then there's a listing fee. And usually they require tokens to put up as liquidity. The CASPA team has come out and said, we will not pay for any listings. I believe they said they did it one time, but they raised money from the community that they were not doing it again. They will not be giving any tokens. So it is up to the exchange to see the value in listing the CASPA token, which I'm happy finally someone looked and said, wow, $146 million in volume. The community is massive. The project is great. No VCs, no pre-sale, none of that. It's the closest thing to Bitcoin we've ever had. Let's just go ahead and list it. Let's not take the $100,000 fee and it's probably worth it. And so uh, big shout out to Kraken. Now, what is the significance of Kraken outside of it being a North American exchange? Well, this is from Forbes.com. Uh, in this best crypto exchanges of August, Kraken is ranked number one with a 4.6 out of 5 Forbes Advisor score with 200 tradable coins. Kraken has been around for a very long time. I personally have an account on Kraken. They do have a lot of the tokens that uh, Coinbase doesn't necessarily have. And they're very safe and secure. When I first got into the crypto industry, when I was researching which are the best exchanges, Kraken would always come at the top of that list. And this was about five years ago, six years ago. Uh, and now, fast forward, they are still towards the top of those lists. Take a look here from CoinGecko. Top exchanges ranked by Trust Score. Uh, Kraken comes in at number six with a 10 out of 10 with a 24-hour volume of around one8 billion or sorry 1.13 billion dollars and monthly visits of around 8 million now here's what's probably going to happen we're probably going to get a listing on kraken and then coinbase and crypto.com and a few of the other ones are going to look and say wow that's a lot of volume maybe we should list uh caspa as well right one thing people don't want to leave is money on the table and we believe that these other exchanges are going to have uh that fomo so to say um, and then I uh, just want to highlight a post from a community member. Caspa is about to become accessible for the majority of the United States and Canada. Kraken have now put Caspa on their listing roadmap. Do you know how inaccessible Caspa has been to the USA and Canada users, yet it has kept climbing the ranks? Time to level up again. This is absolutely true. Again, as mentioned earlier, the number one economy in the world, the United States, hasn't really had, unless you uh, go about the roundabout ways, right, with VPNs, hasn't had access to this to this project, and it's still made all-time highs. How much higher can Casp go once we get this Kraken listing, once we get maybe a potential Coinbase, Crypto.com listing? That remains to be seen. Uh, and then as far as the network, Caspa continues to make all-time high in hash rate, approaching one exahash, uh, 726 pay-to-hash per second. Take a look at the all-time high chart. 
Uh, just breaking all-time highs month after month. Why is this important? It makes the network more secure. It makes it more expensive to do a 50%, 51% attack and take over the network. Speaking of mining, this was very interesting. Vladimir Putin signs law legalizing cryptocurrency mining in Russia. Now, why am I bringing this up? Everyone always thinks when we see rumors and headlines like this, everyone always, first thing comes on is Bitcoin, which rightfully so. But if you remember... The Marathon Digital CEO, when he did that interview, and they, they announced first that they've been mining Caspa since June of last year, then he went on an interview and said, we make eight cents per kilowatt hour of mining Bitcoin. We make $1 per kilowatt hour of mining Caspa. So could we take a look at countries? You hear you have Russia. Are they gonna look at not just Bitcoin, but what is the next best thing where we can maximize profits? And the one answer that comes to mind is Caspa. And so are they going to start mining Caspa? It's going to be legal. Who knows what's going to happen? But at the end of the day, as more, uh, more units, more GPUs come online, it makes the network a lot stronger and it makes it more decentralized. Uh, then I want to share this post here, uh, from Wheatley, uh, kind of, a, of course, there's FUD going around with every single project. And one of the ones that's been going around is, is this, right? Uh, Cost less and least error would succeed. Talking about uh, taking over the Caspa network. Caspa takes 72 hours to fully confirm. Transactions have a cost. It's new, so we don't know about possible failures in the code. Then he references Nano. Now it only takes 400 milliseconds to confirm. Nano has no fees, yada, yada, yada. To which Shai, the uh, co-author of the Ghost Act Protocol, put out this post. And a couple things I want to highlight here. Very, very interesting. So... He gives a scenario, right? Say we're dealing with a huge 45% attack. Also assume below 10 blocks per second. And he says, hey, to just to one block, just multiply all the times written by 10. After 10 confirmations or about two to three seconds, the probability of a successful revert is around 13%. After 10 seconds, the probability comes uh, with like six, seven zeros and a two, right? We said that the ECDSA has 128 bits of security. So how does that compare? Remember the insanely powerful ECDSA adversary that would take 1.8 million times the age of the universe to guess your key? After about 25 seconds, the probability of a double spend is lower than the probability the adversary guesses your secret key within a year. So they'll have a whole year to guess your secret key. And in just after 25 seconds of submitting a transaction, uh, that, those are the probabilities. After 30 seconds, so five more seconds, it falls below the probability of your key being guessed within one hour. After about 441 confirmations or in about 10 blocks, around eight minutes, the probability of a successful attack is smaller than the probability to correctly guess your secret key on the first try, and you got to remember, this is a secret key that would take 1.8 million times the age of the universe. And so uh, I love what Shai did, kind of dispelling the, the FUD going around as far as, you know, people being able to overtake the Casper network. Of course, anything is possible. But again, as the network grows, as the hash rate grows, as more people come into the network, it will become more decentralized and more secure. Let's take a look at Casper price action. So we had some pretty good price action here on the macro. This is on the daily. We've made higher highs uh, going all the way back to November of last year, higher high, higher high. I call this higher high, higher high, higher high. Now I do want to point uh, one potential, at least in the short-term price action, if we fail to reclaim this 18.1 cent level, it could be start of a downtrend. As you can see here, high, high, high. When we came back down, we closed below the last low. So we failed to put in a new uh, higher low. We put in a lower low. The key move here to take a look at is this level around 18.1 cents. This is where our very first uh, high was. This was back on February of 2024. Again, essentially a double top. This was on Janu uh, June of 2024. We came back, uh, bumped up against this trend line, and then we saw another higher high, consolidated in this range, broke above, made a higher high, broke completely below. So there's a little bit of a gap here. What is the price going to do? Are we going to be able to reclaim this 18.1 cent level? If we don't, I would expect a spill off potentially 
uh, unless something big happens or a big announcement. And the area you would look at is around that 14.1 cents. But if I throw on, if I get rid of these drawings and I throw on the price action concepts and we go out to the three day, you can see here this 14.1, call it 13 to 14 cent level on the three day and on the weekly as well, as you can see here, uh, we had a massive liquidity grab, as you can see here, highlighted at the uh, hi highlighted box here on the wick on this three day chart going back to Sunday, August 4th. Massive liquidity grab that saw the price of Caspa dip down to 12.5 cents, but come right back up and close at 16 cents. Although that candle still closed green on the three day, or sorry, red on the three day, we made up a lot of the big losses that we made. So, short term price action, we're looking to take out that 18.1 cent key level. If we don't, potentially down to 14 cents, but that doesn't mean that we're not bullish on Caspa long term. This is a type of coin. You want to stick in your long-term portfolio and forget about it for five years, six years, seven years. The things that are doing is amazing. The team is great. The community is amazing. Um, it's the closest thing to Bitcoin technologically and as a sound form of money that we put, that we have in the market. And so uh, that is why we're so bullish on Caspa. What are your thoughts? Uh, let us know in the comment section. Also, come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.